Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Anne. I make lifestyle content, just uh, vlogs about daily normal living. I also do sit down videos here and there. So, if that is something you'd like to watch on YouTube, you might want to join the family. Um, so anyway, on to the sixth vlog very quickly. Today is on a Sunday, and I am hosting. I'm hosting, I'm so excited, like, ooh, I love it. Um, so anyway, it's actually Easter Sunday, and I am hosting my entire family over at my apartment. They haven't been here, so it was kind of a, I'm just basically inviting them to see where I live, and also um, hosting at the same time. Yeah, so I am making lunch. Uh, we're gonna have lunch, we're gonna have um, games, we're gonna bond, we're just gonna have an incredible nice time. Like I even made an invite from Canva and everything and I sent to all of them individually. <laughs> so I am really just excited. Uh, I have showered and everything, now I want to get into my cooking. I think I have about... I think it's about 10 30 ish so i they are arriving at one so i have like a good amount of time for me to start my cooking well, let me show you my outfit here's what we look like this is a dress I've, i got it from shane actually and i love it it's also open back so that's cute yeah I've, I've held up my hair it, it might be a bit like dark purple so I don't know if I should do like another this is how the dress Ooh. this is how the dress looks like and then it's long cute open back and very feminine yeah so I'm also shooting a reel at the same time Whew, that's also gonna be a TikTok so it's long it's long it's long so um anyway for as for the menu I wanted to pick all the fine foods so I'm, I'm gonna do a roast chicken um, I'm gonna do a roast chicken, I'm gonna do some roast potatoes. I also wanna do some pilau, I'm gonna do some cabbage for like the greens, and then I also wanna do chapos. Guys, fun fact, I actually learned it with my man. Uh, we really like to to kind of try new stuff together. So one time we're like, how come we can't make chapos? Like I have no idea how to make chapo, so we looked for a recipe on TikTok and we followed it to the latter and that has been our, our recipe since that day. They get out so soft, so yummy. And now I can confidently say, Najat kachapo. So anyway, let kachapo here. And then I got some melon, then I'm gonna cut up really nicely. If I have time, I might make kachumbari, but I don't really see the need of kachumbari. So that is the plan. Let me show you where we're at currently. Okay, so first things first, we are, these are some potatoes. Let me switch it up. <laughs> these are um, some potatoes. I had chopped this yesterday night, so uh, these are just ready to be roasted. And then this is chicken that I had also already marinated uh, last night. So this is also ready to pop into the oven and that can get cooking while I'm doing everything else. So, so far, here's where we're at. And I love it for me. And then this is the steak that I actually want to cut up. This is for the pilau that I'm gonna be making. And that is where we're at. I just wanna um, fix the chicken for it to start uh, roasting. I want to give it like the most time uh, possible. Afterwards, though, I don't want it to be too dry. So I'm gonna make like a nice little, um, a nice little kind of like a sauce-ish in a way, but si supu. I'm not a person who likes supu. Just like a nice saucy thing. I'm just gonna dip it inside and then it's gonna be ready. It's not gonna be too dry. Cause I couldn't stew in the menu. So yes, let's get going. Up and leave. Take a lot of courage just to live out your dreams. Bigger picture, I can 
guests are already here apart from one person so let me go through with you what i was able to cook so this is the chicken i roasted it and then i just fried it in like a little bit of onions a little bit of hoho dania just to give it more flavor it looks like that and then this is the pilau that i made it looks so yummy this is the charcoal that i've just made I've, I've i have to cover them up so that they retain the softness and they are soft and they taste so good this is cabbage we must have greens and this is that there was potatoes that i was able to make and then this is a melon that i've just cut up so now just set up like the plates and the drinks are coming up and then we can now finally eat and talk and just have a nice afternoon I'm good. Morning good, uh -huh. kind of great, uh -huh. even on the bad days, I thank God for making me brave. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. The last time I vlogged was last weekend on Sunday when I was hosting my family which was an absolute success I had so much fun but I was so tired so tired hosting can be so tiring but at the same time it's so rewarding and you feel so good when everyone is so happy in your house so anyway uh, that was last week on uh, last weekend so this is the following weekend um, and we're just on our way to town not town actually when I to sorry center but we are stuck in traffic there is serious traffic along Gara so that is where we're at right now what am I what are we going to do at Sarit so uh in my last like vlog vlog not my last video on the um on the answering your dilemma hoping you have caught up with that video if you haven't to Yapa, you go watch that video first so anyway um in, in my last vlog i mentioned that i wanted to get uh my skin al analysis done uh because i wanted to hop on because of my like period acne and all and i wanted uh 
and I wanted advice on like what skincare products would work for someone who has a problem like, like mine because there's so many skin different products in the market and everyone just says oh this one has worked no this one has worked this one has worked and it was kind of confusing so anyway a very nice um subscriber went onto my dm and they were like why don't you go try um the the skin analysis done at good life she also said a booster but i think i'm gonna go the one with, with good life so the thing is i've actually seen this skincare analysis being done on instagram but i've never i'm never quite sure if it has actually worked for someone until she came to my dm and she told me she went for the one at good life and they advised her on what products to use and she's been using them and it has been good like her skin has really improved and honestly that's that's everything i needed to hear so that is what i'm on my way sorry to do i want to get that um skincare analysis done and then i see what products they're gonna recommend to get rid of this this spots this spots we're leveling up this year in every way she born or form and then we can immediately get on our skincare routine and you know stick on it and then it's definitely gonna get better so i also want to get um a couple of things done at the mall at sarit so that is what is up that is what we're doing today that is what we're doing today It's not my fault You've been lying saying that I took away your peace Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame me Like you have no options I ain't take your options Now I'm not the problem Man, that's on you, yeah You've been terrorizing me, yeah, I'm always wrong I knew you lost your mind when you dropped that bomb Girl, are you crazy? Yeah, you must be crazy I've been thinking lately, lately it's you You stole your peace, put it on me Maybe it's you Lying like a rat But take your stuff back Maybe it's you back from the analysis and let me tell you that is that was the most comprehensive like analysis ever like oh my god i don't have an earring let me just remove this one <laughs> like my skin is about six years older than i am and i was shocked so i love the whole experience like the person who took me through it was so nice and explained to me everything like everything into detail i loved it and then they also advised me in like things that i could take also they busted some myths about skincare routines and skincare that i had from social media so which i am grateful about i've learned a lot i got some products um that i'm going to be using one thing that i was told is you don't need like a complicated skincare routine for me for the longest time i always knew that what social media says is like you need like a five step skincare routine or, or like I don't know what like this and this and this and this but it is not so so and then also like the most important um, bit of taking care of your skin is the night routine like that is because that is when your skin like rejuvenates itself so you need to like take care of your skin at night and then when you sleep in a G heel when I'm kind of like a sudden glow okay so anyway this is the products that I got 
Um, so my problem was mostly this like the black spots that I get when I'm on my period and they explained it to me very well so I got a cleanser and I got um, this pro this product from Eucerin this in fact Amangambia is what is gonna really help with this like um, the dark spots and everything and it's really gonna heal my skin and put it back together and help with like you see this like pigmentations this is what is gonna sort me out because it has this um Fiammy doll thing, Fiammy doll, this this kind of thing. It's quite on the higher side, but again, they explained it to me. Most of these other products out there with other brands, they will heal things on the surface level, but Nandani skin, Nandani, but the problem is still there. So that's why you will find after some time that the problem persists again, like the problem reappears because you only treated it like on the surface level instead of like even inside the skin. You get it that um that analysis machine thing like really tells you what's going on even inside your skin kabisa not only to on the surface level so this is what i'm gonna be using this is this is to be used at night every day and then for cleansing i'm just gonna be using this one by uncover i've always um i have been using this one and they say yeah it's nice so i'm gonna stick with this one for my, for my moisturizer uh, I'm just gonna stick with the one that I have. I normally use one from Nivea and then from my for my sunscreen um, They told me the sunscreen I'm using seems to be working for me So I'm also gonna be using that. Let me actually grab it. I show you the one that, that I use For sunscreen I normally use this one. It's a bit dirty. Don't mind it But this is the one that I normally use. I got it from true true cosmetics. It's by dr. C to know something. It's SPF 50 so like my skincare routine consists of like this these three things and moisturizer which is not in in place but it's as simple as that and they explain to me don't over complicate like your your like don't use like over five things on your skin it's it's, it's quite confusing which i've always had that mentality but it's nice to see somebody really tell me about it so i am gonna test it, test out this product especially this one I'm gonna use it for like a month I'm even gonna take pictures of my skin right now and then after a month I'm gonna compare if these spots are gonna be better or whether they won't be better but I've seen you sorry I've actually I've most especially seen the South African girl is <laughs> use you so maybe it does work maybe it does work let me even see how it looks like inside it looks like this so yeah, that was all for today. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So anyway, how are you? It is on Monday currently and I am just from the market. So let's do a very quick market run haul. Uh, one thing about this haul, so you know, y'all know I'm on like a weight loss journey or whatever, been in, been, been in it for a while now. So, uh, I'm in a stall. And being in a stall is something that happens to, to like a lot of people when they're on a weight loss journey. I feel, I think when your body is like consistently losing weight for a period of time, kuna time in Africa, you like, wait a damn minute, wait a damn minute, what is happening? Why are we losing all this much weight consistently? What is happening and then it stops losing weight like it's just it's just kind of stagnates to the weight that you are currently so that has happened to me this is like my second time uh being on a on a weight loss toil and how you break it you ask how i break it is veggies 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 i normally kind of shock my body with like a two week i'm a, a one week i'm a, a two week no carb thing mind you um i always say this all the time like losing weight um with a method of doing no carbs is not sustainable at all so this is why i normally don't use that method at all me i normally eat anything as you guys can see but when i'm on this stall i need to like jump start my body back to its weight loss routine get it so for like one week i think i'll do two weeks for like two weeks um 
I'm gonna just be eating a lot of veggies and protein. Veggies, protein, veggies, protein, veggies, protein, and then that is the shock my body is gonna need and it's gonna come back to what we're doing right here. So let's do the market haul. Here is the paper. Okay, first things I got a melon. Melons are so good. Do you know you can never overeat melon because it's mostly water? You can never over eat it actually. So melons are like fruit, a fruit that I'm definitely eating a lot of. So melons and I like it cold. I'm gonna have this tomorrow because I want it to be, you know, like ice cream, but it's just cold melon. Yeah. Then I got uh, Dania's. <laughs> then I got uh, broccolis. I got. Broccoli, I got two of them. I got a ho ho because I have some more. Got garlic because I also have some more. And some ginger. I was out of ginger. So, yeah. And then I got some cucumber. I got some cu cucumber because, as I've told you, I'm eating like lots of veggies for like the next two weeks or something. So, and cucumbers are like those veggies that you want to chop up really quick. You just cut them up, you butter them up. Uh, some black pepper some salt and they're good to go you can have them with like any any meal that you have so some cucumbers and then I got myself some carrots some carrots I normally like to if I'm having broccoli I like to maybe throw in some carrots up on any in aqua like a nice cute mixture and then uh, I got some some Mishiri. Looks like that. This is just for 80 Bob. I can come up on a place like that. It's so cool. Like, wow. Wow. Wow, guys. Do you know how affordable soccer is? Do you know? Tebu in the soccer. So, I got this Mishiri. This one's now coming so handy as well. It's like that very quick veggie that you just whip up with anything with your meal. And sometimes I like to have them plain. Sometimes I like to mix them with carrots. You get it? You get it? And then do you know what I realized? Like if you, if, for these veggies, if you want them to taste really good, how did my mouth is watering? Do your veggies. If you want them to taste really good, just butter them up and, and add some salt or, I mean cook using butter and then add them and then add some salt and some black pepper and that is enough they're going to be so yummy they're going to be so yummy and then i got some cabbage Ugh, i got some cabbage this is huge and it's so heavy i got some cabbage and i got this for 30 bob 30 bob when i tell you to go to the market you think i'm crazy go to the market guys and then there is these onions onions are just like like all of that. Oh, onions! For onions, I always buy in a kg. I've said it so many times. I always buy it in a kg, in like one kg. One kg lasts me two to three weeks, depending on how often I'm using the onions. Okay, okay. So that's the end of my haul. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna see you the next time I pick up the camera. Hey guys, welcome back to this vlog. Today is on Thursday and today is my big sister's birthday and I'm so happy for her. So this is what we are wearing. I'm wearing this dress that I got from Mr. Price probably like a year ago. And then I'm just wearing this oversized white shirt that I also got from Mr. Price probably like two years ago. I absolutely feel so cute, so nice. So let me actually talk about the sandals. I'm gonna pair them with like the simplest, cutest sandals. So a little backstory. Y'all know I love to do my outfit um, details right here on my vlogs. And a uh, store actually saw me, watch, it, watch my videos. So I, I really do wear sandals a lot like sandals. Sandals occupy probably like 80 percent 80 percent of my shoe composition so i do love a good sandal so they uh they sent me some, a pair of sandals that i absolutely love this is how they look like it's actually what i'm also wearing um in today's outfit so they look like that and they fit like a glove first of all it looks classy second of all i could wear it 
like with so many things i could carry this pair when i'm going on vacation because this looks like such a comfortable pair on holiday i could wear it when you know a nice sunday it's with a flowy dress the sun is out i'm walking you know when i put a picture i could also wear it just like an, on a normal day just like to how i am today with like a relaxed um outfit like the one i have on i'm gonna show you once i put, put them on and i just love like any like shoes that first of all are cute second of all i could wear like in multiple occasions sign me up please sign me up please i'm gonna put the name of the store right here in case you're interested in in something like this which i highly recommend they also have um other other types of what is it called other types of uh sandals available on their page just check them out follow them um and then you can order and get yourself a nice pair okay okay no i'm so happy like i'm legit so happy this 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 gift made me absolutely happy so yeah remember to check them up i'm out on instagram in case you're interested in a pair holla at them now let me show you with the outfit with the sandals on. So this is how the fit looks with the sandals. I think the lighting is not even doing it justice, but yeah. How cute is that, guys? No, no, you all actually need to get this exact pair so that you can twin. <laughs> for real, I think they're so cute. I'm so in love with them. That's the fit for today. Cute, comfortable. And stylish feels so cute so anyway uh, today's plan is that it's actually my sister's birthday my elder sister in case you're new here we are a family of three girls we're all girls and I'm the last girl <laughs> I'm the last born so uh, it's my it's my it's the second born's birthday today and we're just actually heading over to her place so I was in charge of the gift buying. So this is what we normally do. In case it's any or like but they are Mojawe too. Uh we always have a budget for gifts. Then we just combine the money and then we like go shop for things that that the birthday person probably wants and needs and probably has mentioned here and there. So I was in charge of the gift shopping this time. And those are just all the gifts lined up there. Some flowers there by the bucket. Because <laughs> I didn't want them to dry up. And I just can't wait to... Oh, we have also ordered cake for her. Which I can't wait to show you guys. That cake looks so nice. I ordered it from Sugar Baked. K.E. I normally see them on Instagram and I see them. And I see like their work looks so cute. So I hope... They actually deliver. I'm gonna see you when it arrives, but probably we're already gonna be at her apartment. So anyway, yeah, that's the plan. So I really just want to quickly grab the gifts, grab her flowers, and then I go <sighs> to her apartment. We're all meeting. It's another family day. <laughs> this vlog is so family oriented, right? I've noticed. It's very, it's very family oriented, but I do hope you're having fun. Got into her apartment. Hi, sis. Hi, sis. Hi. <laughs> huh? We're just walking up to her house. So we want to, the plan is to scream, Happy birthday to you. Carrots. <laughs> and get her reaction. So let's see. Hello. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's so quiet. Got to her place and she has made a very nice meal. I didn't even expect you to cook, imagine. For real? Yeah. So, this is the spread. We have chapels. We love chapels in this family. We have fries. You know, things I'm not going to taste. <laughs> this, is the, this is the beef. Looks like that. And then we have some veggies. <laughs> then we have some nice chicken. Thank you, chapel. And some nice juice. And then there was also soda, but 
Yeah. It is so hot. Ni me rudisha kwa freezer. I'm making a fruit salad. Oh, you're making a fruit salad? Yeah. That's fun. What does the fruit salad have? Cocoa and pineapple. Oh, that's gonna be so fun to eat. Yeah. I used to think I had plenty of dreams and light in my life. So my glass was half empty.